U.S. Catholic bishops announce October as Respect Life Month, and right now, pro-life advocates are joining together outside of abortion clinics around the world. They are taking part in 40 days of prayer to end abortion. Correspondent Mark Irons reports. So us being out here is especially important because everything we offer is better than having to go inside. The mission is to pray that women won't walk through these doors to have an abortion. I'm a mother from a crisis pregnancy. Catherine Hunter leads this group of sidewalk counselors. Hoping to change hearts and minds, they try to engage with the people going in and out of the Metropolitan Family Planning Clinic, an abortion facility in College Park, Maryland. Years ago, Hunter had two abortions. She attributes it to what she calls being on the Russian roulette of birth control. You know, this is a very violent sort of cycle to be on birth control, to have an abortion, to be on birth control again, and to have an abortion. But now she advocates for life. And these prayer warriors are joined by others around the world for a 40-day vigil, praying outside abortion clinics like Planned Parenthood. Right now, we're in the midst of the largest 40 Days for Life campaign ever. Sean Carney is the founder of 40 Days for Life, an internationally coordinated effort aiming to end abortion through prayer. This year, he says more than 600 cities are taking part. We can't sit by. You know, abortion has a sense of urgency that very few other issues uh, have. It goes on today. There are 2,500 abortions uh, every single day in America. And Carney mentioned the Metropolitan Family Planning Clinic in College Park as being particularly brutal and the number of innocent lives it takes. These pro-life advocates are praying outside this abortion facility. We just saw one woman walk in, but then she came out. Bonnie Burrell, a sidewalk counselor, had a chance to speak with her. I asked her um, if she had changed her mind, and she said yes. It's a big victory for this small group. We believe it is our work as caring, compassionate Christians and Catholics to come out here to offer one last petition of love and mercy. And Catherine Hunter, now a mother, told us about giving birth and raising her son, Gabriel, after a crisis pregnancy. It's been very healing to choose life and to have that baby love you out of that situation. In College Park, Maryland, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.